What's up everyone? It's an early start to the day today here in El Shalten in Patagonia. We just woke up at 6 a.m. and woke up this early because we're going to do one of the main big trails here, the main big hikes, which is a hike called Laguna de los Tres. And uh, yeah, there's the main big mountain peak here called Fitzroy, and that's where you're supposed to get the best view. And a lot of people consider this to be the best thing to see in Patagonia and even Argentina. Nice and chilly start to the day. Yes, I'm very tired as well, but yeah. let's do this. <laughs> yeah, I think the only other time that we've gotten up this early to do a, a trail was in Indonesia. Yeah, to go to the um, volcano. <laughs> yeah, Mount Batur or something. Yeah. But that was in uh, pitch black. Uh -huh. Yeah, over here right now at 4 a.m. or 4.30 a.m. the sun is already out so yeah, it gets light uh, very early at the moment. So here's some information about the trail. So the duration is 8 hours round trip, that's why we got up pretty early. And it's uh, 20 kilometers overall. It's probably going to take longer than 8 hours though because yeah, we'll be wading at the top. And this here is the elevation, so you can see for the first uh, three kilometers, it's uphill. And then it kind of flattens out, and then only at the end, the last two kilometers, super steep. So yesterday we went to a waterfall, and that was that way. But today, we're going this way. Already looks like we've got to head upwards. We got one of our first viewpoints here. This is called uh, Mirador Rio de las Vueltas. So not a bad view. Still in the shade obviously because the sun hasn't really come up properly. Probably see it better on the way back down. So in case you're wondering why we're doing this so early, uh, obviously you don't have to do it this early but yeah, we spoke to a guy the other day and he said it was nice uh, coming up at 6 because there's nobody really on the trail. The breakfast places in town only open at 7. So I think a lot of people are only starting to make their way up around like 7.30, 8, 9. So yeah, we thought it'd be better to kind of have it to ourselves. And also because of the heat as well, like, like we said, it's going to get around uh, 22 degrees. And that's pretty hot when you're constantly going uphill. So we just wanted to do the, the uphill part in this nice cold weather. Carol's done already. Yeah, <laughs> this is the, the farthest I can go. This is the peak for Carol, this view. Funny we started the trail with all like a jumper, beanie, gloves, coat, and I think within like 10 minutes we just took everything off. <laughs> just got really hot straight away, didn't even need it. Alright, so we've completed 3 kilometers of 10. Now it's going to be Carol's favourite part. Yeah, the part is not so steep. <laughs> yeah, from what I saw it's going to be flat for like the next 5 kilometers now. Yeah, and then in the end, the worst part. <laughs> yeah, super steep. <laughs> Yeah, so it should be even easier now. Alright, now we've made it to the Fitzroy viewpoint. And man, this is something else. Look at that for a view. Wow. <laughs> and we're going to go much, much closer still. Yeah, it's crazy because every time I look at it, it's just like it cannot get any bigger, but it gets bigger and bigger. Yeah, it's crazy. You can see the glaciers, I think, over there. I think that's oh, a glacier, yeah. right? Uh huh. There are a few on the top. Yeah, on the map we saw there's like three or four glaciers around here at the top. Ah, so that's the height, I guess, of Fitzroy, three thousand three hundred and seventy-five 
it must be meters, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now we're 750 meters above sea level. And here just says the names of the other different peaks on the sides. So Fitzroy is the main one. And it's so peaceful. Yeah. Just birds. What is it? A little bird? Yeah, a little bird. You gotta be careful because there are many caterpillars around. Yeah, the black ones, the, the furry black, ones. Yeah, so I'm not sure. Maybe that's a bit dangerous. Yeah, I don't know if they're poisonous. <laughs> I don't know anything about caterpillars. I can hear loads more birds now. If I was a bird, I'd be hanging around with this viewpoint, right? <laughs> so there's a, a woodpecker here. I don't think I've ever seen a, a woodpecker this close loud isn't it yeah whoa chipping away man I didn't think I'd ever get that close to a woodpecker yeah, he doesn't seem to care about people he's, he's used to the vlog <laughs> yeah. he's used to being on YouTube so this trail's been amazing so far. It changes quite a lot as well. Like we have areas like that where you're in like the woods and it's all overgrown. And then you have an open area where you get the amazing views and then you go like back in the woods. And then there's parts where the pathway is rocky, parts like this where it's more like uh, sandy and dusty. So yeah, nice uh, variety. So we've come to a point where there's a river now. Beautiful color river. So that's what's coming down from the incredible mountains back there. I think this is the river that goes to that waterfall that we went to. Yeah, yeah it is. And I think you can uh, refill your water bottle here because uh, I think the water is clean. Oh yeah, it's definitely clean if it's coming from there. It'll be the best water ever. Oh, like little pebbles there. Do you need a refill or? Maybe. We, ha we haven't really been drinking that much, right? Because it's kind of cool. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Fill it up. There we go. Man, I can't hold it. It's too, too cold. Oh yeah. Icy cold. <laughs> yeah. So eight kilometers in, there's actually a campground here. I don't know how you how you call it. I think it's Point Sino or something like that. I didn't expect there to be that many people camping. Yeah, there, there are a lot of tents. Yeah, it looks like there's about like 50 people yeah, 50. around here. And they also have bathrooms here, so you can use the bathroom. I think on the trail we saw one more proper bathroom as well, right? Uh -huh. Not in good condition though. <laughs> no, very bad smell. Huh? Yeah, obviously. So yeah, you can just uh, camp two kilometers from uh, the main spot. I think now is the point where it gets hardcore, right? I'm not sure I'm ready for that. You're ready? You can do it. Oh wow, Carol, I think that's why. I think it's up there.
Yeah, they weren't joking about this last part being the hardest part. It's just one hour of going straight up after you've already walked uh, seven kilometers. So I don't know if you can see on the GoPro how steep that is. Yeah, you can just see people zigzagging all the way up here, but that is really, really steep. Way steeper than this part that we're on right now. We're already exhausted. <laughs> the ground is all like this as well. It's just loose, loose rocks. So gotta watch out where where you put your feet. It's like that the whole way. There's no like real trail here. Just a bunch of rocks. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is more difficult than I thought. What about you? Yeah, same. <laughs> the final hurdle <laughs> the final slope all right so we finally made it the end of that trail was absolutely brutal mainly because the temperature I'm gonna sit down <laughs> mainly because the temperature up here it's still hot it still feels like 22 degrees it's not uh, cooler at all and this is what we came for <laughs> absolutely magnificent so that's Fitzroy super close I didn't realize we were getting that close and then you just have the beautiful turquoise lake Carl's having a hard time yeah it was definitely the most difficult uh, trail I've done I, I'm like a zombie I cannot talk right now yeah, I mean, that last hour it probably took us about an hour and 40 minutes, right? Just yeah, kept stopping, stopping. It was just too hot. It's too, too hard, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you um, if you don't have good fitness, you shouldn't do this trail. No, Not this yeah. part. Yeah, it's it's sad because we, we got COVID. So we, we spent like 10 days doing nothing at home. So I think that that kind of made us feel more like tired. this. Yeah, more tired now. Yeah. But if you have a good uh, fitness level, it just it's, it will be hard, but not uh, that. <laughs> yeah, this is incredible. This is one of the best things we've ever seen. So this is why people say it's the best place in Patagonia. Some people think this is the best thing to see in Argentina. So now it feels worth it. <laughs> So now it's finally time to eat. So I'm eating in style because I got restaurant food <laughs> that I got yesterday. The beefy chorizo, mashed potato. I don't think many people bring restaurant food up there. What have you got over there, Carol? Empanadas. Empanadas. Mm -hmm. What is it, like uh, cheese or something? No, vegetables inside. Vegetables. Mm -hmm. My food's better. <laughs> Man, that view though, that is crazy. Maybe the best view I've ever had for a meal. So I've come down to the bottom now. Carol ended up staying up there resting. She didn't want any more exercise anymore. So yeah, I think she's just gonna take a, a rest up there. There's actually people swimming here, <laughs> which I really didn't expect seeing a few people swimming. See people about to go in here. 
But that color sure makes it way better. Beautiful turquoise color. So it looks like the the water doesn't go anywhere. I don't see any like rivers or anything going out. Maybe it gets even more full in other times of the year. Not sure. Wow though. <laughs> Unreal. So I'm just doing one more little hike here up this hill right next to the lake Carol is over there somewhere apparently there's another lake over here so I thought I'd check it out before we head out wow look at that so there is another lake this is a completely different one same color though pretty much cool thing about this one though is there's a waterfall over there coming from the glacier that one i don't see any water coming down anywhere not right now but yeah there's a really awesome waterfall over there nobody gone down there though it's probably not safe oh got even better then so you got two lakes <laughs> look at that so it turns out the main lake back here also has a waterfall so there is water flowing out and it flows into that small one over there that's lower so yeah water does also come from this uh, main one loads of water <laughs> So which is better, this or the, the glacier? I think this one for the view. The it's glacier, more spectacular, right? Yeah, glacier is just like a unique, unique experience, but this one for the view is just spectacular. Yeah, that's a window screensaver. Yeah. <laughs> and then from here, look, you can see where we came from. So uh, El Shalten is all the way back over there, just behind those cliffs. So. We walked all this way, then down there was that campsite, and then this is like the, the big cliff edge. So we got a long way to head back. So it's a tough hike, but definitely worth it for this. So on the way back we took a different path and we come to this spot here called uh, Laguna Capri. So it's a huge lagoon here, really crystal clear water and there's like a beach area so yeah you even get like little beaches around here. We're both really sore now especially my toes. What's hurting on your body? Everything. Everything. My back, my, my feet, my legs, everything. So we're gonna dip our feet in the ice cold water. Maybe that will be good. I don't know. <laughs> oh. That's nice though. Yeah. <laughs> it's like ice. Yep. Wow, it really is clear, isn't it? So this laguna has loads of little beaches all around. People hanging out here swimming. You can see a long beach all the way down there. There's a campsite near here as well, so I think a lot of these people are the people that are staying at the campsites.
we're gonna close this video out now. We're just gonna head back and we're not gonna do anything for the rest of the day. Probably get some food to take out and then, yeah, just lie in bed all day. It's actually uh, 5.30 right now and I think we still have like an hour and a half to go. So yeah, it really has been like a full day, especially since we woke up at 6.30. So this is the main valley that passes through El Shalten. We're just on the other side of this rock here, but yeah, still gonna take a while. So was it good overall? Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm very tired, but it was totally worth it. Um, it's just amazing, the views, like uh, like even here, it's not the, the most uh, famous part, but yeah, Fitzroy, it was just amazing. Splendid, I yeah. loved it. Yeah, there's just so many amazing things to see here on the trail. And this is just one of the trails. There's so many other trails to do around here. And we're not sure what we're going to do in the next video. We have two more days here. The only problem is um, the second day shows really bad weather like rain. So we don't really want to do a trail then. So that only leaves us with tomorrow. But we're very tired right now. But yeah, we're going to see how we wake up and maybe we'll still still do that trail. It's supposed to be a bit easier, but yeah, we'll just have to see how we feel. We hope we can do it though. So if you like this video, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this one. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.